ready to roll. We're ready to rock and roll. Do I look confident? Welcome back to another episode. Welcome back, everybody. I'm so glad everybody came back for another one. So this video, I'm gonna get right into it. I'm not even gonna do an intro. I'm just gonna get right into it because this is the most amazing AI tool I think I've ever encountered so far. I hope you're ready for what you're about to see because I'm about to show you something that if you have not been paying attention to the AI verse, right? The AI universe, right? The AI situation that's going on. I'm gonna tell you right now, your nips are about to be, forget being perky, they're gonna blow right off. So hang on to them. I'm gonna show you an AI tool that has just blown me down, okay? I'm like a sailor, all right? Blow me down. I've been messing with it, and this is an AI tool. The only way I can describe this tool, really, is that it can do pretty much anything that you can think of. And I know that might sound crazy. You might be like, well, wait a minute. What are you trying to say? Like, I can think of anything and it'll make it? Yes, it'll make anything you want it to make. Now, I haven't tried everything with it. I haven't dibble-dabbled enough with it to know its limits. I mean, I know some of its limits, but I, I, what I thought we would do, because you know how much I love you guys and girls, and you know how much I enjoy showing you really cool things that I find on the internet, and one of them is this right here. And we're gonna get to it. I'm gonna put it on the screen in a minute, but before I do, I just wanna say what I thought we would do is, I would try all sorts of different things to see what this thing can do. And then you can go out on your own and you can try some of this. And the thing you gotta remember too, ladies and gentlemen, while you're watching this, while you're checking out all of the cool stuff that I'm about to uh, show you with uh, your eyeballs, or with my eyeballs, or wait a minute, I'm gonna show it to you through the screen into your own eyeballs. Your own balls are gonna be wet. I literally, I just gotta get into the flow state. And when I try, it doesn't work. <laughs> trying to get into the flow state, we're trying to get into that flow state. Help me. Can someone just help me with a divot it in? Just remember, this is the worst this particular AI is ever gonna be. This is the worst. It's just gonna get better from here. So keep that in your noggin while you're watching. Your head's gonna blow off. If it doesn't blow off now, it'll blow off later. So just get ready for because it's gonna blow off. <laughs> She's gonna blow. I need to actually see how much space I have on my uh, little old computer because I'm scratching my armpit. I got nine gigs. Hope everybody's doing great. I just I forgot to say that in the beginning of the. I just hope everybody is doing great. I usually say that in the beginning and I didn't, so I'm gonna say it now. So hope you're having a good time. Hope you're doing great. Put it in the. Type it with the keyboard. How are you? I am doing fine. It's hot in this room that I'm in. I have no air conditioning, by the way, so. I live in Ethiopia? No. I'm kidding! I'm in the U.S., but I'm in a part of the U.S. that doesn't have air conditioning. Uh, so, yeah. Let me know in the comments. Is it better when it's too hot or when it's too cold? I know both of them suck, like, massive dick, but if you had to pick one, which one would it be? I personally think it's better to be too cold. You can always get more blankets. Right? But you can only take off so many pieces of clothing until you're naked, and then what are you gonna do? Start taking your skin off? That's not gonna look good. And then your organs, where are they gonna go? Let me know in the comments, what color does AI make you think of? Which color matches AI the most, right? Is it green? Is it red? Because after this video, it's gonna be brown. That's all that's gonna be is just brown, alright? Check your pants! because I don't want to. You know brown is not really a color, it's just orange that's really dark. Did you know that? Brown is just orange, but really dark. Yeah, can you, I don't know, ask Michael Stevens. All right, I think we're gonna get into the video. Let's dive in. Let's, <laughs> I think I need help, I don't know. I know what I'm doing, okay? Don't tell me nothing because I know what I'm doing. All right, we gotta get into the video. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. If you're thinking about subscribing, that's step one. So you're almost there. Subscribing is just like life, right? You only gotta do it once. Unless there's multiple people you wanna subscribe to, multiple lives you gotta live. I need to stop dicking around and we need to get into it. So open it up, let's go inside. I gotta, all right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, we are inside of WebSim. Oh, I don't even know if I told you. Okay, so this website, by the way, this is a website called WebSim. And it's pretty much what the title is. It's a simulator. And it's an AI simulator, which means we can do anything we want. Let's start off with something simple. Let's say 
You know, what I ask you here, what do you want to create today? What does Matic want to create? What do my followers want me to create? Why don't we start off with, let's say, let's say it's COVID again, right? COVID hit. It's a second wave. Uh-oh, Obama. I want to go to the museum. Uh, well, you can't because everybody's f***ing sick. Oh, well, what are you going to do? We're going to make our own museum. That's what we're going to do. So let's say we want to go to a museum, but not just any museum, okay? I want to go to a museum filled with a bunch of different images and paintings of nipples, okay? Because, listen, I know you guys might be thinking that's kind of stupid, but it's not. Think about how weird nipples are. Why do men have them? I don't need them. There's no milk coming out. I, I gotta go to the store for that. So create a museum of different paintings and images of different types of nipples. I don't just want the normal type. I want to see nipples like never before. So we're going to hit enter, and we're going to see what this thing can do. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to get stuff out of me. All right, here we go. It's loading up. All right, so Museum of Nipple Diversity, because you know what? We like ourselves some diversity. Welcome to our unique museum celebrating the incredible diversity of mammalian nipples in nature. Right, that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. I hope I don't get demonetized. I'm not even monetized, so if I get demonetized, YouTube, we gotta talk. This gallery showcases the fascinating variations found across species, highlighting the beauty and functionality of these essential atomic features. Now, I gotta say, I probably should have been more specific. I didn't want, like, animal nipples. I wasn't really looking into that. Look at that pig. He's happy as hell. All right. So, okay. Some of these images. See, I was I was picturing. Why won't, why can't we see this image? I want to see it. Whale inverted nipples. Man, I would love to see that if we could if we could load that up, WebSim. I don't know why that one, the most interesting one of all, just won't load. So I understand that it's not exactly. I wanted images of like human nipples. So what we could do, you can just continually add on to what you created. So like, for example, I can now say to it, I want the museum to be filled with human nipples and make sure they are paintings and images, males only. I don't want to keep out the females, but if I, <laughs> if I show female nipples, I have a feeling that I'm going to get in trouble on YouTube. So I won't do that, but you know, just picture male nipples, but at the end of a boob. That's really... This gallery... Okay, content notice. We got a content notice. This gallery contains artistic deceptions. Okay. This gallery contains artistic depictions of male nipples. While not inherently sexual, viewer discretion is advised. That's right, and I'm about to... Okay, we're going to have to blur some of this out. Damn it! We have the essence of masculinity, modern abstract sculpture, exploring the male nipple forms. You know, how many nipples do you see in that image? Oh, they, he's having a good time at the beach. We got a bunch of uh, cherry, these are called pop nips, uh, so it's a vibrant pop art interpretation of the male nip. So, we got super nips, digital artwork examining. You know, he is a super nip. He's a super nip. He's gonna save the day with his nipples. That's a skinny boy right there. We got a skinny boy. Now, let's take this even a step further. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna tell it. Let's say we want a, a black background. So I can say to it, uh, please add a black background with smiley faces falling from the top of the screen. Now, I don't know if it'll do the smiley face thing, but let's just see. Let's just we're just having fun. We're just seeing what is this thing capable of. So it got the black background okay. That's good. That's good. Again, we got the content notice. We got new images, new nipple images. It looks like it's kind of doing the same thing. Like, as you can see, it's still saying essence of masculinity. Got a different shape. I don't see the falling smiley. <gasps> the falling smiley faces. So yeah, dude, it did it. That's awesome. We even got some extra space down here for more nipple pictures. Great. And it, it feels like a real website, you know? Like, this gallery represents a diverse collection of artistic interpretations of male nipples. Each piece offers a unique perspective. You know what I'm saying? It's like, because I know a lot of you might be just, okay, Matic, you're being really silly with nipples again. But here's the thing. I'm just trying to show off how amazing this technology is. So let's forget the nips. We could use it for more educational purposes, right? Now, I understand some of you might be like, well, AI is not always accurate. But let me show you what I mean. Let's say you have a child, right? And you want to create 
an interactive website for your child to learn math, let's just say. Create an interactive website for children to learn easy addition and subtraction. Create different problems for kids to solve with a button to press to get the correct answer. Make the background colorful with exciting images. All right, so now we're going to get out of our nipple museum. So yeah, so even if you're in, I know it says nipplemuseum.com at the top, but even if you're in the middle of making something, if you just tell it to make something different, it seems to just do that. Or if you want to add on to your creation like you just saw, we can do that. So for example, here, fun math adventures in Comic Sans. I think that's I don't know, it might not be the, uh, you know, Comic Sans always got to show up everywhere, even in AI. So 16 minus 1. What the f***? I got to get a calculator because my brain just can't. I'm kidding. I know it's 70. No, I'm kidding. What is it, 15? Let's see. Check answer. 15. Try again. Oops. All right, listen. Oh, you can, okay, so you, t oh, you can type. Oh. All right, six plus two. Who knows the answer? Put it in the comments. Six plus two. Let me know. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to type eight. And check answer. Great job. Dude, this is awesome. All right, so that, that's pretty cool. Let's say you are going on a job interview and you want to make a nice web page about yourself to show off to your clients or to your um, employers or whatever, right? So we're going to put in here, create a portfolio of a made-up person we are calling Bob. Bob would like the website to have a cream color background. His image on the top left of the screen along with a bio and info about himself and why he is a perfect candidate for the job. Now again, you're just starting with an idea. So it doesn't, whatever WebSim shows you at first, it's just the starting point. So don't don't get worried if you try to create something and it doesn't really, you know, it's not really what you were looking for because you have to keep trying and adding to it. Now, look it. There's Bob. He's loving life, right? He's getting after it. He's getting after that puss. So we've got a phone number here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, San Francisco, California, Bob at email.com about me. Hello, I'm Bob Thompson, Chevrolet. A passionate software engineer with over eight years of experience in developing robust and scalable applications. That's right. W, we're here for the win, all right? I thrive on tackling complex problems and transforming them into elegant, user-friendly solutions. I like dick. Okay. My expertise lies in full-stack development with a particular focus on cloud technologies and AI integration, especially when it comes to museums filled with nipples. Why is Bob the perfect candidate? Because he has a proven track record. Okay? It's proven. It's right here. Just look at it. Strong analytical and problem solving skills. You know what I'm saying? We got key skills down here. These are all the things. He knows how to do Python. He knows JavaScript. He knows how to react, okay? Reacting is a skill. I know. We got software engineer. So just, again, this is just the first thing we typed in. We could continually add to this. So I could literally say, change Bob's picture to one of a banana. Because maybe Bob is feeling like a banana that day, and he just wants to show that off to all of his, uh, uh, you know, potential employers. So we're going to show Banana Bob, Banana Bob Thompson, <laughs> yellow banana, Banana Bob Thompson. He's looking for a freaking, wait a second. At, okay, is that a banana? I don't even know. Is that like bananas coming out of another banana? We got <laughs> a banana is birthing bananas on Bob Thompson's. I mean, I could even, I mean, again, you guys, you can get really specific. I could even say to it, please make a blue ring around the banana pick. And you can just keep adding, keep, I want to do this, I want that. So look, now we have a blue ring around the banana picture. So we got Bob, and we got a new banana picture too. So we got Bob Thompson, Chevrolet, Chevrolet, and he's an innovative software engineer who's a banana. So if you know anybody that needs some software, that's also a banana. Bob's got you covered. Like, let's say you need an engineer, right, who is also a banana. 
Bob is your man or banana man, I guess, in it. So what else can it do? Let's say you want to plan an event coming up, right? You have a big event coming up and you want to plan for it, right? We're going to tell WebSim to create a planner for our day. So we're going to say, I need you to create a web planner for my day tomorrow. I have a lot going on and I need you to create my schedule. Please make it easy to understand. So now it's going to just take Bob Johnson, throw that away. But I will say when you go to the home page after you've created stuff, it'll all be there. You can go and, and, and view all the stuff that you created. So it's pretty crazy. So we're going to wake up at 6 a.m. I don't know about that. Morning exercise. Yeah, fuck that. I'm eating bonbons. Continue to work. Oh, commute to work. I thought that said continue to work. I haven't even started yet. Work morning sesh. Yeah. Lunch break. We got an afternoon work sesh. We got uh, evening workout. I can't even see the commute to home. It's too dark. So I could tell it. I could say, please make... Oh, my God. I just hate when you type things and they don't come out right. Okay, so please make the commute to home in white letters. So now it'll go back. It'll punch out the exact same thing. It'll put... It'll... it'll, it'll I, I don't know what I'm saying. It will come out with the same exact thing, except now commute to work or commute to home will not be in white letters. Wait, I told it. Oh. So yeah, it's very specific. Commute to work is still in black. I only told it to do commute to home. So you got to be you have to be really specific with it to and but let you know, maybe you have children, right? And after their math lesson, you want them to uh, maybe read some stories, but you don't just want the average, you know, Snow White and the Seven Ducks, whatever, right? You want a story that's also going to teach your, ch your child, right? Create an interactive story that helps my child learn about space. I want them to have a full understanding of quantum physics you know because when i have a child little jimmy is learning about quantum physics space adventure quantum quest so welcome young space explorer you're about to embark on an incredible journey through the cosmos so we're going to learn about quantum physics let's start the adventure and again this is all interactive like a real it literally just creates a real website I, it's not nothing's happening oh there we go we have stars falling from the sky all right so the quantum realm you find yourself shrinking down to the size of an atom. Welcome to the quantum. So, you know what I mean? Like, and now we can learn about wave functions, superposition, or quantum entanglement. And this is all just with you telling it. It's not like we sat down and we coded, or we even had a, a website maker and dragged and dropped stuff. No, we just told it exactly what we wanted, and there it is. So you're probably like, oh, okay, Matt, that, that's pretty impressive, right? It can create websites, galleries, you know, educational things, but... Can it make games? Well, let me tell you something. Get ready for your socks to come right off and go right into your nipple hole. Create the game Snake, but every time I lose, the snake gets faster. Here we go. We got a snake game. Now, again, it's the snake game, and every time I lose, the snake gets faster. So let's see if I can win. You know, I'm pretty good at this game, I gotta say. I haven't played in a minute, but I am a pretty good player. Look at this. I am doing so good, guys. Can you believe it? I got to try to get to this. It's hard because he's so fast and I'm not I I, I got to get I got to get used to this. No, what? Wait, game over. Wait, how does it how does it the game over? So yeah, every time I lose, he gets faster and it's getting to the point where I can't keep up with it. It's Sonic the Hedgehog, but he's green. God, dude, this is I I can't even do it. We're going real I don't know how to hang on anymore. <laughs> got to go. Yeah, this is um this is not, this is not humanly possible. <laughs> so yeah, pretty fun. It even tells you the speed up here. Now you can also do things like create defunct websites, right? So you can, I can tell it, create, create a website all about Donald Trump. Make it interactive and silly. All right, let's see what this comes up with. Again, I'm not a fan of Trump. I'm not endorsing Trump, but I'm just creating a website that, is about Trump and I find it odd and hilarious that it comes up with yellow and orange or um I don't know yellow and red as the colors he's it's literally Trump ketchup and mustard so I have the best words believe me oh my god classic gold orange zest playful pink make America green again oh my god there's a Trump tweet generator 
build the wall. You know, again, this is all just from that one prompt. I didn't say anything about a Twitter generator. Okay. I like pickles. You're fired. What's, uh... Oh, we're building the wall! Dude, we're literally building that wall. All right, how long do you want the wall? Is it going to be longer than China's wall? China. I can't do a good Trump impression. If I could, I would do it. All right, how much wall can we build here? Oh, we just keep going. The wall is huge. It's the best wall you've ever seen. I mean, what? Why don't Why don't we make something about like the weather? Create an interactive website to get the weather forecast in the USA. Make Trump the weatherman while wearing a nipple hat now again i don't know if it's gonna do that but you know again and like i said this is just the beginning oh is he really gonna be wearing a nipple hat that doesn't look like trump trump's tremendous weather forecast we're gonna <laughs> what is that get bliggy forecast what is get bliggy with it no 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 no, no. we're gonna enter a city all right so we'll do la and then the state will be ca so we'll get that bliggy. Believe me, the weather is so good, it's unbelievable. So unbelievable that you can't see it. Okay. I wonder why, please add an image of Trump. And it doesn't have to be Trump. I mean, we could really have anybody tell us the weather. I didn't mean to just make it Trump. I mean, oh, the images are no longer available. Okay, so it found an image that's not available. So that's, again, it's not perfect. The fact that it can do any of this is uh, mind blowing to say the least. But, you know, one of the things that it could really be useful for is let's say you are trying to make a website or let's say you want to see what a particular YouTube channel could look like. You could say, you know, create a YouTube channel that is all about fuzzy socks. Make the channel pop with vibrant colors and silly slang. Yeah, let's let's see what this does. So here here we go. 69420. I don't know. <laughs> Again, AI having a sense of humor. Yeah, totally awesome content for Soxest peeps. So we got Epic Fuzzy Socks unboxing. Do it yourself sock puppets get crafty. I could ask it uh create a realistic image of a banana wearing socks. Realistic banana in socks. Let's see. It better be realistic. I better not be able to tell if it's a real image or not, okay? Show me the real banana. That's a banana. It's not wearing socks, but it does look like it's in love. So that that's great. The two tips are touching. Nip tip. We could also say create a virtual fashion show, but all the clothes are made from banana peels. Let's just see. Let's see what it does. I'm excited to uh, take a look. Because you never know. I mean, the things that this thing... Okay, so banana peel... Again, like the humor, right? The creativity that AI has is astounding. So the world's first virtual banana peel fashion show. Experience sustainable fashion like never before. All right. Um, I don't know what this is, but let's see. View full collection. Sustainable fashion for the eco-conscious trend setter. Oh, boy. Please load the images. Man, banana peel sneakers. I want to see the sneaks. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, this item is currently out of stock due to high demand. Well, I can't even see it. Again, though, I do want to. I do want to say it could just be my computer. Again, we're on a MacBook Air. I got to get a new computer, but that might be why we're having some issues here. Because for the most part, it works flawlessly. But I do run into issues like this where, for some reason, it's not generating the images. I don't know why. It's a shame. Banana split evening gown. I mean, bro, I want to see it. I don't know if I mentioned this at the top of the video, but it's all free. This is a 100% free website. Just sign up with your Google or whatever account and you're in, baby. And what's amazing too, oh, we can see the images. They're not really um, images like what I was thinking, but one of the things I honestly wanted to see if it could create really quick is create a music making app. Easy to use, mimic the style of Ableton Live. All right, let's see if it'll if it'll do this. I, I you know, it is a pretty tall order for it to make a whole music app. Oh my god. I mean, there's just no way this is going to just work. We got the BPM. All right, so let's um go to the drums here. Okay, maybe it doesn't Oh, you just drag them in. Why isn't it? I don't hear anything. Okay. 
Uh, the bass, all about that bass. How come we're not hearing anything? Say there is no sound. Make it so there is sound. All right, so let's put the drums back in. Oh, it says play here. Oh, okay. We got the bass. Oh, that bass. Oh, yeah. So if I play it. Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. Let's do the piano as well. Oh, uh, yeah, gonna gonna go down to the store get my groceries what if we um why don't the drums continue to play that's what i want to know all right let's let's hear this yeah we gonna go down to the mall meet my mom she's gonna help me buy those pants i want all right this is just really bad i don't know why please make the music sound uh, good can you make it sound good can you make it so i don't want to end my life when i hear it that would be a plus <laughs> I would subscribe for that. Subscribe! Let's see if it improved. Let's put the drums in. How do the drums sound? Are they still pretty? Oh, I can't even. Oh, we got to wait for it to load. Hold on. We're jumping the gun. Bring the drums in. Oh, is this a volume bar now? Or is this a good bar? Like, how good do you want it? I don't hear anything. That's a bust. All right, how about the bass? Okay. We're getting it done. We're getting it done. I'm going to the store. This doesn't sound that great, but I, who am I kidding? This sucks so much. If you just for a second pretend that it doesn't suck, it still sucks. So we got to get out of here. Now, you can make your own kind of stuff, and that's really cool. But what's also cool about this website is you can check out what other people have made. And um, let me just say it's amazing because some of this stuff takes a while to make because you have to keep prompting it. Like this is like this particle, you know, where I move the mouse particles. Oh, and I can click the music doesn't sound that great but it's so that is so cool look at that somebody just made this it came out of their mind let's see what else we got here we got upload and mint upload and mint what the hell is this create your music nft upload an image <laughs> an audio file okay i got a picture of james randy we could use okay okay so the title's gonna be you good bro and then the description's gonna be making sure my homie is doing all right Aight, aight. okay making sure my homie is tight we can choose the type of blockchain if we want to do ethereum polygon all right here we go let's uh create and mint that nf the process has started. This may take a few minutes. I don't have time. All right, it's been successfully created and minted. Now it shows us a preview here. She had yeah. Bottom, yeah, she did. Boots with the fur. But it's a picture of James Randi, so it makes it kind of odd. I mean, there is just so many different, you can self-organizing 3D models. This looks like it was back in uh, 2001. You know, never forget. We got a pixel art editor. Monkey ball. What's this? Why the wild Scottish? The haggis. It'll get you. We got Doom Simulator. Plants versus zombies. 4D musical sphere. What is this? Oh, this is interesting. And you can change the toggle animation. You can change the spawn rate, gravity. Oh, this is really cool. Right here. This is this is an example of Minecraft. This person just made this, and you can move around. Change your, your blocks, start building. I can move around, probably fall through the... Can I fall through the floor? Oh, you can fall through the floor. Look at that. And this is just made, literally, you can load. How do I... Oh, escape. How do I load? You can load other worlds. Oh, I'm... Oh, oh we're going way out of boundaries. Okay. I mean, there's there's music makers. You can literally play a piano. It's amazing. This is, I gotta say, the craziest AI website. Oh, here's an even more realistic Minecraft. My computer is probably not gonna be able to handle this, but... Oh, actually, not too bad. Look at this! I'm playing Minecraft! It's a little janky, but... I mean, again, this is just the beginning. You can even change the render distance, so it'll break my PC. I mean, there's Deep Dive Underwater Adventure... Ah, uh, there's a roller coaster simulator, crazy cars. I'll have to do a video where I just kind of just go through all these because I am running out of time. So maybe in the next video, one cool one that I did find was this one here, Gloggle. 
Now, Glago, it just creates, it's, it's literally just a different universe. So, like, I could just hit, I'm feeling multiversal. And it will create a Google page from another universe. So, you'll see weird, and you can also put your name in and have it create different things about your name. So, like, for example, you know, the ultimate repository of information across all the universes, quantum computing for dummies. I could put in here, new paper done by Maddox to save the world. And as you can see, Maddox's groundbreaking paper, Quantum Entanglement for Global Sustainability. Dr. Maddox! And it just kind of generates all of this fake... But it's stuff, I mean, you can actually go to the website that it created and read all about how you discovered a certain form of quantum physics. And uh, yeah, show this to your history teacher, all right? I'm not doing homework. I'm not even in school. And then it'll even tells you what metaverse, what, oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Go to this website, it's websim.ai. It's free right now. There's a chance it'll be paid at some point because I can't imagine they must be paying up the wazoo for the servers because there is so much on this website, it's insane. You can create your own stuff, you can check out other people's stuff, and you can add on top of other people's stuff. So it's really, it's unlimited, it is infinite what you can do. So I urge everybody to check it out because I've had a lot of fun with this, I, I gotta tell you. I mean, it's just endless what you can do with this thing, so. So thank you everybody, I appreciate you all staying till the end and subscribing and liking and commenting and all that, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching everybody, and and I'll see you in the next one. That's it.